What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. In this video, we're gonna talk about why the OnePlus Fold is the hottest foldable phone this summer. It's really the one to get, I think, if everything comes out to be true and massive as we are seeing it thus far. Massive, more massive than the Z Fold 5, more massive than the Pixel Fold. It's a very, very exciting foldable phone. Now, I have done a video on my concern, so it's not perfect, just like any device. So if you wanna watch that concern video, I'll link it down below. You can check that one out after this one. But I wanna talk about the hyped up reasons of why I think this one is potentially gonna be better than the Pixel Fold and better than the Galaxy Z Fold 5. And it's pretty obvious when you look at these specs. So let's just kind of run through the high points of this as to what they are. So first of all, it's the big giant displays. You've got the biggest, at least here in America and, and, and a lot of other parts of the world that don't get these Chinese versions of the phone. You're getting a 7.8 inch inner display. It's 2K, 120 Hertz. It's a beast. That's bigger than the Pixel Fold, it's bigger than the Galaxy Z Fold 5 as well. So you got that all right there. Next would be the outside display, 6.3 inches on that bad boy, which again, is bigger than the Galaxy Z Fold 5 and it's bigger than the Pixel Fold. And then when you look at it, when you're just seeing what it looks like, it's bigger as well. It just looks like a normal phone. It doesn't look like, you know, like when you grab the Pixel Fold, Kind of, it, it's it's great, don't get me wrong, I love the outside display on the Pixel Fold, before I get any hate on that. But it's kind of short and stubby. This OnePlus Fold, OnePlus Open, whatever you want to call it, doesn't look short and stubby, and that could be a good, not only point to just using it, but also aesthetically looking. You know, that could be a big reason as of why. Has the most RAM of any folding phone here in most of the states and in most of the, probably Europe as well. 16 gigs of RAM, a ton of RAM in this beast. It's gonna have a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. Now, that's gonna be the same processor you'll see in the Z Fold 5, but it's a better processor in, in terms of raw performance than the Pixel Fold, so it's got all that going for it. And again, don't forget, 120 hertz on both displays, same as the Pixel Fold, same as the Galaxy Z Fold 5. Storage. We're gonna skip over that one because it's 256, it's the only version, it is one of my low points, if you could call it a low point. Uh, 4,800 milliamp battery, pretty good sized battery, and when you pair that with a Galaxy, 4,800 milliamp battery, and when you pair that with a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, it's heaven in a phone because 8 Gen 2 is really, really good with sipping the battery, but also giving you absolutely amazing performance. This is a big one right here, 67 watts, of fast charging. This thing should charge in about 45 minutes, whereas the other phones are gonna take hour and a half, hour and 20, something like that to fully charge. This is gonna go six, 45 minutes tops. And that's super fast and I love seeing that. Something much needed on the Samsung side and the Google side at this point is really, really fast charging, wired charging at that. Now, I want to say the cameras are going to be a high point. I did say there might be a low point in my, my other video, but I'm having some high hopes that they're going to, you know, add some kind of algorithm or blow me away with this that I'm going to be like, yes, I love it. The cameras are awesome. They take great photos and videos. So kind of like, I'm not going to dive too much into that because I'm more concerned than I am excited about it. Um, Android 13 and Oxygen OS 13.1, those are high points right there. This thing's gonna get Android 14 before you know it. And then also the Oxygen OS, there's some nice little customizations in there. There's well thought out and very, very good performance on there in terms of just using it day to day. It's amazing, it's really, really smooth, if not one of the smoothest experiences you'll get on Android. Alert slider is great to have on there. Uh, not a necessity, but you know, if you're coming from an iPhone, that kind of whole world where you have the alert slider, that might be a big point for you. And then I love the power button fingerprint scanner, which is the same on the Z Fold 5 and the Pixel Fold. So when you tally all those things up, just running through those specs, it's the displays on there, the big giant displays versus the other two phones. It's the more RAM, which is gonna give us better performance and let us leave more apps open. It's the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 that outperforms the Pixel Fold. Don't get me wrong, Pixel Fold's really, really smooth and for everything I use, with, use it with, it's perfectly amazingly fine. This just takes it to another notch with it. Uh, 4,800 milliamp battery, it's a good sized battery in there. 67 watt fast charging, 
it's that's better than the other two phones much better than their fast charging they're at like 25 and i think 30 or something like that on the pixel fold the cameras are high megapixels across the board don't have to worry about that underneath display camera like samsung has this won't have that this will sit on top of the display android 13 and oxygen os are a good melting pot of the ui and all that stuff and then the power button on the fingerprint sensor it's a big it's awesome i'm super looking forward to this and you got to expect that the price is probably also going to be very very competitive if not the least expensive out of all the foldable phones that you can get in the western world this is a beast of a phone. i'm really really looking forward to this i cannot wait to get my hands on this and i'm hope I, i'm thinking i'm gonna i'm gonna be blown away and i hope that when i do get it in my hand i am blown away let me know your thoughts on this phone in the comments down below your 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 worries your concerns your what you're really excited about whatever it is just put it in the comments down below let's know let's see what you guys think have a great day we'll see you down the road peace